Hey guys, this is a super casual video. I just got a package and I wanted to open it up with you. It's a super exciting package. I did my first order on Beautylish. Um, I'm probably really late to the game, um, but it is an online store. It's sort of, sort of like Sephora, but it carries a lot more um, cult favorites. I think it's because the products there are a lot more of a higher end range. Um, they're definitely a lot more pricey. So my resolution for this year was to actually not buy any more makeup unless it's from like brands that are really different to me. It's products that's um, really different and innovative and I was scrolling on Sephora the other day and I couldn't find any new products to buy so I decided to go on Beautylish. <laughs> the price I think is in pounds or US so just be careful of that <laughs> don't be too trigger happy to add things into your cart. I am super impressed with the shipping that they did. Um, I ordered this on Monday. I got it yesterday which was on Thursday so it's like almost three to four working days. It's packaged with love in San Francisco. Um, so they are based in San Francisco which is pretty cool and it, it, the person who packed it even signed it and I even got an email um, I think from this person saying that the package is all packed um, on Monday itself so I'm really really impressed by that. They sent this over via FedEx so you know you can be rest assured that everything would arrive um, in really good condition. That is super cool it has all the 90s type of like stuff there. I guess they know that people who can actually afford for to buy stuff here probably born in the 80s therefore they are a 90s kid so you've got Michelle Pfeiffer as Catwoman um, Christina Ricci I think this is um, this is Kurt Cobain which is oh I think these are all Jeffree Star's tattoos I think because I know that he has this on his chest and yeah I think these are all the tattoos that he has Edward Caesar hands I don't know how many times I've watched that movie thanks to my brother who loved Winona Ryder I didn't manage to get free shipping because above a certain amount you do get free shipping and I basically bought stuff which uh, first of all they are from I think most or all of these products are from brands that I've never tried before that so there is a really nice personalized card so I guess the person who packed this probably signed it it's a stuffed it with a lot of tissue paper and I think the products itself is in this little package here. So, so let's jump into it with the least exciting product to me uh, because these are repurchases. Is the Anastasia Beverly Hills um, brow tint um, thingy and I get these in the color brunette. Um, what I did was I actually sorted out the stuff by brands and I just kind of looked at all the brands that I'm not able to get in Singapore and then just went from there. So this is the Tinted Brow Gel. I've used this for a couple of years already. I really like it. Um, it looks very brown um, but it's perfect if you have like dark hair like mine because it really like helps to lighten up your eyebrows. The spoolie looks like this. It's almost, it almost looks like a mascara wand. So what I do is I just kind of take my eyebrows like that. It helps to color my eyebrows a little bit especially right after I color my hair this really works very well okay guys it's so a fast forward to the afternoon I had to go bring my son to get his vaccines and let's continue what were we talking about um, we were talking about these Anastasia tinted brow gels yeah I absolutely love them and I am glad that now I have a source to get them pretty easily so i got two of these um to just kind of keep you okay on to the more exciting products that i'm trying out for the first time um this is jeffrey stars liquid lipstick um, the inside is pinkish liquid lipstick lovers usually oh my gosh this is so freaking pretty oh my gosh this is really pretty look at that it is so gorgeous the glitter is sort of encased in the packaging so there's no glitter coming out or anything and wow in the sunlight it just looks really really cute side is a pink packaging like that 
and the tube uh, and the spoolie is sort of curved a little bit almost if you can see there so it's really pretty I got this in a dark nude color so liquid lipstick lovers um, usually recommend either the Kat Von D or the Jeffree Star uh, liquid lipstick so I'm really excited to check this out look at that the color is so freaking pretty next up i got something from sugar pill which is another brand that i've never tried before uh, again i went for the liquid lipstick uh, and the box looks like that it's super cute it looks like a first aid type of thing it, this one is a liquid lip color and i got it in the color nurse it's a matte color inside again super cute Hi cutie, that's what it says. Oh, this is also really, really cute. It's got like a medical type of um, design, right? I almost feel like the packaging is very similar to the Jeff as in the mechanism of the packaging is very similar to the Jeffree Star one. Um, and let's see, this one's in a red color. The spoolie is very different though. This is more pointed spoolie. And let's see how, oh my gosh, this is definitely a lot lot more creamy pigmented i can almost hear a sound as i spread this over like as if i'm spreading butter or something so that is super pretty the jeffree star one has dried as you can see so i really do feel the same and now when i'm looking at them they both kind of look the same okay, next up i got something from a very cheesy brand i've heard about this brand but never thought that I would get it. Um, it's by Makeup Atelier and um, it's a French brand. Um, they cater a lot to like pro makeup artists and stuff. Their stuff is very like serious things. Like it's not like, you know, very rara like the ones that I'm used to. It looks like very serious makeup, like serious contour, concealer palettes and all that. So the box um, also looking very serious no colors or anything inside and again i got a liquid lipstick this is in the color raisin and this is how it looks like um it says that it is a long lasting lipstick so this looks really pretty it looks like it's gonna be a plummy color it goes on really smooth definitely the thinnest among the three that i've tried so far feels almost like lip tint but it's looking like you know it's gonna dry really nicely matte as well so i got more liquid lipsticks and this time it's from anastasia beverly hills so the same brand of the brow so i was really trying to decide whether i should get one of her palettes because she has a lot of like cool looking palettes I don't know, I have one of her palettes already. I don't think it is like a star palette um, in terms of the quality and I've heard mixed reviews about some of the palettes and more importantly I think the colors that I saw I wasn't really like oh my gosh I have to get it kind of thing so I got lipsticks which I know that I would use. This is sort of like a set and I thought it was a very good deal. I think this was like $33 US or something it comes in a set so it's a lot more affordable and you get to try out a lot of the colors and the packaging looks really really nice by the way i think these are probably minis i don't think they are full sized so it has like a nice rose gold packaging right there and it slides out like a drawer so cute and i've got three so this first one is hudson and it looks like that very very nice the packaging looks pretty this one is in bittersweet a little bit darker nude this last one is in days which is a rusty raid nude so the applicator is different from the ones that i've shown you so far it's a very flat applicator but it has a pointed end so that will make it easy to apply these are the three colors right there i think they're really pretty definitely wearable for my skin tone so this was this is hudson right here this is bittersweet nice and this is dazed right there last item i'm super excited about i knew i wanted to get one eyeshadow palette from there at least um the natasha denona sunset palette or something tropic something um is out but i don't know i just 
didn't feel like I needed any of those palettes so I decided to get something from this brand which is Viser Art, Vice Art. Um, it's something that I've heard a lot from um, Vintage or Techie and uh, I decided to get the Petite Pro palette because the other palettes, I don't know, I just not that I didn't want to spend money, I just wanted to try the formula to see how it is and I just feel like a lot of the a lot of the color combinations, honestly, I already have it, so I just didn't want to spend on another palette which I may not have. So Vi Visa Art, Vice Art has this Petite Pro palette which was amazing. I think it was $33 or something. It slides out like this and you know, this Visa Art, I don't know how to pronounce this. So this, it feels very, very, very smooth, like super like I don't know not like the NARS smoothness oh, oh you can see the oils from my finger coming out so it has a little ribbon right there where you would open ah okay so it flips out like that so you kind of open it this way and let me show you it comes with a small mirror right there which is cute and there you go those are the colors so it has um eight colors in total and just looking at these colors these are just right up my alley and they would be perfect for me to travel with they look so freaking pretty like really like this purple right here this kind of golden orange and they have a good range of mattes and it just looks really really pretty even this like silver color it's not straight up silver it has hints of gold in there so um it looks like you can take out i feel like you oh yeah you can oh my gosh that's so cool so you can actually take out the shadows like that and I guess you could put it, it's all magnetized. So that's super cool and it's really tiny as well. So that concludes my haul. Thanks for joining me as I unbox this packaging. I'm super happy with all the products that I got. Very excited to take pictures of them. Um, I'll update you guys how they go on um, on Instagram. If you haven't followed me, make sure you follow me and support me there as well. Um, and yeah, I'm really impressed with the whole like customer experience with Beautylish so good and to you guys thanks for watching if you have any questions about the product um, let me know in the comment section below and I'll see you guys in my next one bye